Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for March 11th, 2013. On this will be 10-day, one-minute chart. Uh, we clearly have at least Wave 1, Wave 2, and to Wave 3. But here's a big thing right now. This should have ended in a fourth, third wave into a fourth wave, but instead we started grinding. And uh, what got me in, into this back into the market late in the day, the other day, even though we're near a, a third wave target, was the fact that I looked at the 10-day the chart. I was like, oh my God, that's a grinder. I was like, we're back to grinding. I was like, take a look at that angle and the slope of this thing. It's like it's the old grind is back. So I was like, I really should go back into this market because... Uh, not only did we recover the entire fade from the intraday high on Friday, we, we recovered in a way a slow grind would, would recover. So I figured this, this could actually grind a, a bit higher than 15.65. So I'm actually like, I actually went long, um, I think 25, yeah, it was 2500 uh, Upro at a 111. Let me see where I bought it at, I forgot. I think I bought it at, uh, was 113.20. Well, no, 113.40, I bought it. So this area right here in the S&P, it's very intriguing. You know why it's very intriguing? Because it looks like a grind, it's like the old grinding three. So if we start grinding up the way um, we've grinded in, like in previous um, months, this could turn to a very large three. So when you start grinding like this, it's just like they're gonna, it's going to dip, they're going to buy. It's going to dip, it's going to buy over and over again. So when I saw this pattern right here, I was like, this is not the end of a third wave. This is the start of a very... Possibly a large third wave. I could be wrong. We we could hit fifteen sixty five and then correct in a four, but the way it looks, um, it looks like a grinding three. For the Dow, maybe it looks the same thing here. Yep, there's a grinding three. Oh jeez. So I thought that we go three, four, five. That's it. But the way we recovered last Friday was I thought it was pretty amazing because that only happens in a grinding three. And this right here, looks like a grinding three. I would like to be, I'm pretty sure that what's happening is a grinding three, but if I'm wrong, there's still a little bit of room of like maybe 15, 20 points in S&P uh, to make some money. So that's why I, I held on to the UPRO over the weekend. But when you see this grinding pattern, like dip by, dip by, dip by, it's like you don't want to ignore that because this could be one of those big swelling threes that just start grinding and then all of a sudden you get a gap and then I'm just, I'm just saying this is, this, is a, this is a great formation. Uh, for NASDAQ, yeah, same thing. You think this would be 1, 2, 3, and done, okay? But it's not 1, 2, 3, and done. It's 1, 2, 3, and grind. <laughs> I don't know that, that that's it. That's not a uh, Elliott Wave technique or Elliott Wave pat pattern, but it's it's my pattern that I've, that I've seen before. You get 1, 2, and grinding 3, and I think this could grind a bit further than that that 1565 target in S&P. So I'm going to hold on to this and see how far it goes. If I'm wrong, though, it would probably hit 1560, 1565, and then correct into four, or we keep grinding for a long time. So I'm, I think I'm going to hold on to this and see what happens. That's a wrap.